What's up guys, Goodness here bringing another episode of Pack Into Perfection where I'll be looking to put a Messi or Ronaldo or any of the players on the screen in front of you right now. So I'm really pumped for today and finally happy to see another decent team of the week with some outstanding players in there for once rather than the usual garbage that we've been subjected to over the past few weeks. So we've got an informed Lam there, we've also got an informed Dede with 82 base, it looks like an absolute monster. I'm sure he will be eating strikers for dinner. And we also have ourselves a second informed Podolski, he's the guy that I'm really excited about. He's his first inform was amazing, such a deadly shot. It's just a shame that you can't use him as a striker. You know, he's shifted out on the left hand side, but still that shot should be even more awesome than it was previously and should be leaving like the goalkeepers with no chance whatsoever. Who else have we got? We've also got Turan. I quite liked his regular card and his upgraded card. It's a shame he's been shifted out to left wing again. And we also have like Sydney Sam, what a great name there. And he's got like 91 pace, so I'm sure he will be pretty deadly for you pace horse who love a bit of that action. And we've got another inform for Hamsic. And we've also got a troll Suarez out there. So if you see Suarez pop up on screen, well, at least you'll have an inform discard rather than Luis Suarez, who you probably wanted. Who do we have on the bench? We have a few, quite a few silvers on there. And we have Campbell. It's a shame that on Ultimate Team, you know, his car is still not basically in the Premier League yet. So, you know, they're stuck to last year's thing. And I'm feeling very lucky. You've got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? So yeah, hopefully I'm feeling pumped and I am going to be very lucky today. I am going to be that lucky punk. So let's see what players I get. And well, while I open the packs, you know, pretty much I've got to resign myself that, you know, I may not be as lucky as I feel, but we'll see what players I get. And I'll just talk over a couple of things indeed, just in case we don't get anyone fantastic. So what I'm going to talk about today and, you know, like football's been quite interesting recently. Like I heard today that, you know, the team that Celtic are playing in Champions League have a ritual of killing animals before they play the game. So they got done for killing a sheep in the tunnel. I mean, some crazy teams out there. You know, I thought it was bad enough just to intimidate fans and have sorts of flares and all sorts of stuff going off in the ground. But, you know, whatever works for you, I guess, killing the animals in the stadium before the game probably does put the edge. That's probably why they beat Celtic in the reverse leg. You know, you know, some people are vegetarians, you know, love animals. Do they really want to be subjected to that? It's a good tactic, actually. Maybe it's one that I'll ask Arsene to, to instigate before games. You know, like, could you imagine seeing that going down at the Emirates? You know, just, just kill a sheep. That will put the other team off. You're guaranteed a win there. No need to sign players. I'm sure that's something that he will go for. You know, so what's going on with Bale? Bale is now officially sulking. You know, I was quite enjoying this, a bit of a saga, and it's not based around Arsenal and transfers. It's always quite fun. So now he's not behaving as he should be. Just sell him. He, You know, who doesn't want to be the most expensive player in the world and who doesn't really want to go to Real Madrid? Probably the only person that doesn't want Bale to go to Real Madrid, apart from all you Spurs fans out there, is probably Ronaldo. Just in case he's slightly worried that someone is going to steal a bit of his limelight and a bit of the thunder. That basically, you know, he is the main man at Madrid. But, you know, Bale could like outshine him, could outperform him in certain games and maybe they're going to be having to share the ball. So that means that potentially players like Di Maria and a few others might be moving on and it'll be a ma massive transfer merry-go-round as, as we see what's going on. So guys, I just want to say thanks for the... Oh, there's Dante there. You've got to love a bit of Dante. Who doesn't? Especially if it's shame it's not his team of the season, but you know, he's not, that's way out of packs. But anyway, let's go back to what I was saying. I just want to say thanks for the like response to the Isco review. You know, I really enjoyed doing that review. And I'm going to try and get at least two, hopefully two of these players from this team of the week reviewed out there. It's gone down really well. And of course, that was what my channel grew on and what my channel was built upon back in the early days. And of course, there's not as many reviews now as people are like deciding to go do other things. V14, all that kind of stuff with... You know, all the different kinds of videos that are out there are just giving up in general and not uploading as regularly enough. So there's maybe a bit of a window for a few diehards like me who still like doing these reviews and getting them out to you. So hopefully there'll be a couple of reviews out there and I'll see which players, you know, I can pick up in the meantime. The only problem is I probably won't get to do many of them until the weekend. By then normally a few players have been reviewed by then, but we'll see how that goes anyway. So, yeah, that's, like, you know, these packs. Oh, well, what can I say about the packs? You know, I've just given up in terms of like, you know, what I'm going to say about them but I'm sure there is one good pack left in V13 I'll keep going towards the end and you know that I'll be coming hard with these packs with V14 around the corner so what else is coming up I'll probably get another rating with Ronaldo done I've got like a couple of additions to the squad that I'm sure you'll be interested to see and also get probably another Ask Guna Lister out there probably another one of the more relationship cards don't forget to send your questions in and of course you know I'll always do my best to get those answered for you with my opinion so we've pretty much got to the end of it just this final pack to open and 
constant. That pretty much sums up my luck, basically. I did feel lucky. I thought I was lucky, punk. But basically, EA have trolled me with some constant bullshit. There you go. Look at that. How? What an apt way to end. That's it, guys. If you like this video, leave a like below, comment, subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.